All right, uh, let's take a quick look at uh, some sports news then. Uh, Swimmer Tatiana Schoenmaker is uh, apparently briefing the media. We take you live there now. And we make appeal to any corporate organization to support our government, support uh, the lotteries organization that invests in sport, because without investment, we cannot achieve what our golden goal has achieved. I don't want to walk the floor with my own uh, issues uh, in sport, but I want to say thank you to mom and dad. Thank you very much. I know as a parent in sport, particularly swimming, what it is to stand behind the swimming pool, wake up 5 o'clock in the morning to be a train. I want to say thank you to Rocco. We have a very long career together in the sport and we work well together. Uh, thank you very much for your hard work. Thank you very much for the committee, the High Performance Committee's work. It's highly appreciated. And, uh, but most of all, I want to say thank you to Tatiana. You have produced the goods, and we always knew that you will produce the goods. But I want to say thank you for the media. The media delivers a positive story about swimming. I've been on the media in the last uh, eight days, most, almost three days a week, and uh, sometimes worried where my salary is going to come from. But keep on telling the good story about sport, in particular about our sport, yeah? because we need it. We are a sport in transformation, and without you, we cannot tell the good stories of our sport. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Fritz. Uh, appreciate that. I know we are waiting and waiting, you know, for Tatiana. But please, a little bit patient, you know. Uh, I'd like to call the coach to come and give us a bit of a speech. Mr. Rocco. <laughs> Okay, this is highly unprepared, so um, I wish I knew, but I'll, uh, I'll try and I'll shoot from the hip. Um, thank you for the very warm reception and the recognition. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to, um, to welcome Tatiana and myself and the, and the rest of the swimmers here. Uh, it's highly appreciated. Um, I don't think I've ever, I've coached 33 years, I don't think I've ever put anybody through hell like I did with Tatiana. It's been five years of absolute hell for her and um, I've witnessed it and many days I felt terrible doing it to her. But um, we are in a very difficult sport and the high performance in the world is a moving target. Nobody knew what to expect of these games. And the standard, especially the depth of the standard, was very, very high. And people are going to be even faster and better in Paris. So um, many lessons were learned during the COVID time, talking to the international coaches. And we will have to seriously rethink how we do things in swimming in this country. And we will have to have financial support. There's no question about it. It's not going to get... It's not going to get uh, easier. It's going to get much, much more, more difficult to produce the goods. So um, with regards to Tatiana, you can coach somebody just up to a certain point. I can't put in what God left out. And uh, she's been blessed by God with exceptional ability and exceptional talent and the ability to handle high, really high pressure. So... Um, it's a tribute to her. She's a very um, shy and a reserved person, so um, she's not somebody of many words. But if there's anybody that I need to choose to go to war with, I choose her first, because when the, when the chips are on the table, she can deliver. So um, I played a small part, and I'm very lucky to be part of a team at the University of Pretoria, which we all worked with her for the last couple of years. So. I'm just representing a team of specialists that worked with her, but um, I think everybody needs to recognize the fact that uh, up to a certain point we helped and then it was over, over to her. And then lastly to her parents, I want to thank her parents and her family for the support they gave and the trust they had in me. It's, uh, I've never ever had any interference from them, only support. And uh, without that, it would have been impossible. So uh, 
she's a tribute to the Schoonmaker family and the Schoonmaker parents. And I often say that to her because when it's real high pressure time, the character of the athlete shows through and that's a tribute to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rocco. Appreciate it. And now it's time for the superhuman, the super lady, to please take the stage, Tatiana. <laughs> I think Rocco said a lot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, for me, it's just thank you for everyone that's here today. Um, it really makes the moment extra special. I feel like it hasn't sunk in yet, but maybe it has today a little. Um, so, yeah, just thank you for all the support. And for me, it was just to go out there and give my best. And through my achievements, I hope I could have given someone some hope. Um, obviously, knowing our country was going through such a tough time, um, if I could just give that little bit of hope, um, to, as we know, that sport unites um, people, but to not just rely on the athletes to unite us, but to make a decision as a country to get together and unite by ourselves. And hopefully I could just give that a little boost. <laughs> and then for me, it was just to, through my swimming, just show God's love and just really, if people see me, just really feel his um, his presence and experience his love. So if that is what I was able to do, then I've achieved everything I did. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Amazing. Isn't it wonderful when a coach and athlete work together to perform and to produce at the right time when it matters the most? Tatiana, congratulations, and may you be blessed even more. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, give me the honor to welcome Mr. Nati Mtwati Mtetwa to give us a keynote address. Thank you. Okay, it's on. It's on now. Thank you very much. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Firstly, th let me start by thanking the, the parents. Uh, Mom and dad are here. Uh, in fact, it's, it's dad who told me that uh, they are busy with the pride now. They are ready uh, at home. Uh, so uh, the vice president of SASCO, Ms. Milan, uh, Rocco, coach, thank you so much. Uh, president Fritz, thank you. The Golden Lady, let me shower you with felicitations, which you have been getting throughout, uh, and say that uh, in these troubled times and challenges which our nation is facing, all the hopes were on your shoulders, and you rose to the occasion. Thank you for that. Uh, and the whole of government uh, congratul congratulates you, uh, and the family, uh, and everybody, your, 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 your you are, the, you are his soldier. He said uh, he goes to war, he knows which soldier uh, to take. Thank you very much for that. Uh, this is for not just a, a triumph, a win, not an ordinary win. Uh, you, you, you set the standard and the record for the whole nation. Uh, I mean, for the whole world, uh, as it were. Uh, and anybody will be following uh, on your footsteps. So for us, it's for young people. For us, it shows that the women in sport are the thing for the world and this country uh, to look into because we have shown the way. Uh, it's not only the gold in your hand. It's the gold on the right hand and the silver uh, on the left hand. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, we don't want to delay you. Yeah. I think uh, the family is waiting for you, but the whole of the nation is happy. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Honorable Minister. Uh, I'm going to go back to the words that uh, my Vice President said a little bit earlier this week that, well, late, late last week said that, you know what, in Paris, we're just sending the woman to the games. <laughs> um, we've come to the closure of this press conference. Uh, thank you so much for coming through. 
although some of you had difficulty getting here, thank you so much for coming. Minister, thank you. Coach, Ellen, Ms. Weiss, Tatiana, thank you so much. The parents, thank you so much for standing behind your child and supporting her to live her dream. I think that is important. I think if there's any lesson, yes, yes, we're coming to that. I think if there's any lesson to take here from the parents is that support, support the child. All right, uh, well, short and sweet, she kept it. Uh, Tatiana Schoenmacher, our uh, Olympic uh, gold medalist, there, a short uh, word from her, and certainly from her coach as well, congratulating everyone, including uh, the family. So that's what we had for you this afternoon. Then here on uh, SA3, thanks as always uh, for being with us. That's it from me, Flo Lagaba, and the rest of the